It being said that perhaps, Selena Gomez might be struggling, again, with being famous, Wendy Williams said during the April 13th episode of The Wendy Williams Show, Wendy brought up Selena's interaction with the paparazzi that went down a week ago, and how the Wolf singer meekly said they were scaring her as she made her way to her car, listen to her voice. Here's the thing, I didn't think it was childlike, Wendy said, defending Selena. In fact, it sounds like, the paparazzi, girl had the same voice. A lot of you girls think it's so cute to squeeze your voice and talk like, that, it's so childish, I'm so weak. After briefly touching on the Selena, Justin Bieber and, the weekend drama, Wendy turned her eye, or in this case, ear, back to Selena and her struggles with being one of the biggest pop star of the world. She's very talented, like I like her music, but I think she might be in over her head in today's pop culture society. What to dress, how late you have to be out, you got to do stuff. You just can't sit in the house, these days, poor thing. However, Wendy didn't let the segment end without throwing a little more shade at Selena's voice. The thing is, if she has that same voice at 50, I'm gonna punch her in the throat. Wendy said, in kind of a big sister, knock the crap off kind of way. Wendy closed things out with a schoolyard rhyme. Baby talk, baby talk, it's a wonder you can walk. Is Wendy really going to throw hands at Selena in 25 years? Of course not. Does she want Selena to sound like a confident, powerful and proud woman who has successfully taken over the music world? Yep. In fact, Wendy actually brought up New York City newswoman Sakanya Krishnan, 46. As an example for Selena, that lady's voice is everything, everything. You gotta get a little bass in it, when it comes to vocal role models, for those who missed it. Selena's childlike moment that irked Wendy happened on April 4th, according to Elle. As Selena was exiting a Starbucks in Newport Beach, California, a crowd of paparazzi swarmed her. When one photographer, a woman, asked about Justin, Selena gave an odd reply. Do you guys mind if I just have the rest of the day? Because you're kind of scaring me, she said, not angrily but in a way that seemed kind of shaken. While some pointed out that Selena's reply was strange, others made the argument that the paparazzi should back off and give famous people their privacy. After all, Selena should be able to go get coffee without having to worry about being pelted with questions. Heck, even Justin Bieber had a recent awkward run-in with a fan as he exited spin class. Since the paps are going to be around for a while, Perhaps Selena will use Wendy's advice and put some bass in her voice when she next tells them 